If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Francis Coquelin to check out. Uh, with this card, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", medium high work rates, 3-star skills, 4-star weak foot, right-footed player controlled. Um, okay, any good play styles? Yeah, he has, only has one. Only sly tackle? I mean, I mean, you know. Just play style. Just it's just, that's just that for the play style, man. Eh? Okay. Um, is this what is this card like? Like what is he gonna be on? Let's see. Plays for Villarreal, so we have to check out the group for them afterwards. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Okay, so you can check out with the Shadow Chemistry style, yeah. But that's the one that you obviously have to use on him because he is a medium high work rate player with a four star weak foot. Um, okay, so shooting. Non-existence. This is a CDM. Uh, it's a it's a card that you use in what's this dribbling? Dribbling seventy six agility. I mean, you could technically use him as a person in a two midfield setup too. Like if you're playing like a four two three one and he's your CDM, then obviously that's perfectly fine. It's gonna really be about like defensive animations because he's a smaller player. Usually the taller guys are more ideal. Like I'll tell you guys this right now. I have Shuamane. Shuamane on a shadow is really solid for the defensive animations. Um, passing on the card is going to be in a good area, so that's a W with the four-star weak foot. Um, defensive stats will be increased on the shadow chemistry style, and then for physical, going to be in the 80 spots with a 90 for aggression. So this card on a shadow chemistry style does not turn into a lengthy player, or he's not a lengthy player, which... It's not necessarily like a big deal, right? On a Shadow Chemistry style, as long as he's positioned well with the four-star weak foot, then it should be okay to check out. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the SBC, and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys, so we put a quick little team together here for um, Monsieur Francis here. There is one year in FIFA where he was actually like pretty solid, right? So, um, yeah, we'll be taking a look at the group stage afterwards. Foot profile description. Nice. Uh, <laughs> all right anyways um i mean the best way to try him out is the four two three one and that guy's on get forward do i i don't want get forward the, like testing now there's no makes no sense i was probably trying out some other midfielder uh what we'll use the team as so um yeah just something like that the, it honestly doesn't really matter because we're just testing him out defensively to see if the height and stuff is a problem or anything like that. So, all right, let's go see what the card is like. Going soon. Thanks, guy. I'm really looking forward to this one. You've got to fancy the chances. No, already starting off hot. Game, but they'll be ready. I'm sure they'll start fast. Look to take the game to them. I think they're going to do it. Here's how the home side lines up. Jose Sarr is the goalkeeper. William Saliba plays alongside Rafael Varane as centre backs. Oh, nothing on that. Unlucky. You're good on that though, right? Yeah, he's good, he's good. First time pass. First time pass here. There we go. It's actually a nice pass. Nice. He actually goes in there with the weak foot too. Good stuff. Good stuff. told you guys man when you have this instruction of like the stay back while attacking and stuff sometimes these cdms will still push to the side areas to kind of help you out in the build up they do that like pretty often this year for certain cards right Ooh, too much power
Oh, wow, his slide initially blocked that. That's funny. Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Bad pass by me. We get the interception. I like to give the ball away in those situations to see if they still defend somewhat nicely, right? Nice pass. Okay, so he's out of position now. Let me just do this. I mean, that trackback's pretty good. You can see him kind of speeding up right here. This guy right here. That was him. He actually did a pretty solid job when I overcommitted him. Nice. The aggressive challenge works there. That's been away. Did well there. Can get the ball here to him. Work with the build up a little bit. There we go. I see how like the dribbling and stuff. Shield. Into a Trivella. Nice try. Not bad. Ooh, over the bar again. Lucky. Nice first time pass. Legron switched downwards. Ball waited. First time pass. Works out again, yeah. It's important to have players that do have good passing um, and stuff in the CDM position because your buildup does revolve around them as well when you're trying to attack through the middle. Nice Trivella. Wow. Really good Trivella. Gets into the angle. Bang. Look at that. Very direct, eh? Pretty solid. Save from the goalkeeper on that. Okay, this is the track back. See, so when he's out of position, he does actually track back really nicely. That's a green time. Nice finish. Coming off of the body feints there. It's a good finish there. Good animation. Nicely done. Oh, I red-timed that one. Just be mindful of that for those types, types of finishes. I mean, listen, if you hit some long shots with the card, especially when you green time them, he hits them pretty cleanly. Oh, I couldn't get the aggressiveness there. Yeah, track back is definitely very solid. If I overcommit him a little bit too much, he definitely tracks back nicely. Really nice law pass. Nice. That was me utilizing the... Uh, Double tap R1 to block out the stuff inside the 18 yard box, like I mentioned in the defender tutorial. Good 
could try. So again, there's going to be certain situations where like the height, because the taller players will make that difference as well. It could be a little bit of a, a nuisance sometimes, right? But it depends on how you end up using him, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that afterwards, too. Nice through ball. A move of promise on the flank. But the danger of Burton for now. Ah, oh, not possession based, but that one, he does get a reach. Nice. Well nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Able to skip past his man. As eyes for goal. Oh dude, if I scored that, imagine. Yeah, finesse shots outside 18, if you don't have like the finesse shot trade, they're like not super ideal. You also need the shooting stats too, right? But. I'll take a penalty. A red card too? Jeez, man. Where's my boy at? 55. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Top left? Okay. At least he scores. I'll take it. Rafael Malo Gusto. Successfully cut out. Good stuff. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defense. No reach there. Oh, I try to do some extra skill moves there. But again, the second man or the the R1 press, where we try to bring um, the players inside the 18 yard box, like he does well there to block it out. That was a nice pass. With the weak foot there too. Really, really well weighted lob pass. That was solid. Yeah, so you can see like different scenarios where it's like, again, sometimes the height, you never know. Maybe if you had that extra height, it definitely would have added to it. But, you know. That's his track back, right? That's the one at the top. Nothing here. And you double tap R1. Right? Starts to mark some certain players. Double tap R1. So he's nowhere near in the middle there, but it's because we overcommitted him, right? So they're not going to track back the card super, super quick in those scenarios. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Francis Coughlin SBC. So guys, listen, there's a lot of things to mention when it comes to this card, okay? So if we're looking at it, individually from a perspective of hey i'm playing a 4-1-2-2 i need a physical oriented cdm that has all the right things i want you guys to take a look at the shua Mane card right so with shua Mane, this card has a bunch of crazy play styles jockey intercept anticipate bruiser relentless aerial bunch of crazy stuff while being a six foot two player with a medium high work rates on a controlled lengthy. On a controlled lengthy, the lengthy part of the card is gonna make him run faster, even though his pace is set up this, uh, a certain way. Now, very important to mention, when it comes to Coughlin's card, the play style with it, okay? Because if we're talking about lone CDM physical presence, Shuamane is your guy. I'm telling you, this guy's amazing. However, I want you guys to take a look at something, okay? So we're gonna go to players here. And we're going to go to the leagues and we're going to go to the La Liga Santander. And then we're going to go to the work rate. So defensive work rates high. And then we're going to go to attacking work rates medium, right? Okay. So let's take a look at some of the options here that we have in the center mid CDM positions. Okay. So the main one here that you're going to see is going to be Shua Mane. If you take a look at the other options here, there is genuinely nobody 
else that's going to provide you the links with the league links that Coughlin's going to offer you for the play style that he is. Because I want you guys to think of something like this, okay? This card, there are certain formations and tactics where if you have two medium high work rated players, the formation and tactic works a little bit better, right? In last year's game, if you played like a 3 4 2 1 formation, because the middle was really open to work with, two medium high work rated players was very, very ideal because the work rate would kind of play to the build up play, right? Because you would use the side positions, cut back, go into the middle, and then progress going forward. So having a medium high work rated player like Coughlin, who is also four star weak foot, is very important because you can use a car like this over on the left hand side because Shuamane is the guy that has the three star weak foot. This card is also somebody who is 40 something K. As you guys know, Andre Silva as an SBC released recently, and this card as an SBC was 37K. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a lot of fodder right now in my club, and I basically did this card at no cost, right? I just put a bunch of fodder into it to get Andre Silva. If he gets upgrades, cool, whatever. But Francis Coquelin is a card that will play probably a little bit better in the meta of the gameplay while providing you links depending on the upgrades that he gets. Because guys, you guys know, man, when you do your evolutions cards, right? You guys ever get to evolutions and it's like the second last evolutions and you're like, oh man, maybe I did a mistake on this card. But then you get to the last evolutions and you're like, this card's incredible. It's because EA sometimes does some crazy juicing to these cards. So the key thing here, right, is longevity and how easy it is to do this SBC. 50k for this SBC is very, very good value considering all the fodder that you're getting that you have to dump into SBCs anyways. Like right now, I did Andre Silva yesterday. I could have done this Coughlin card today instead, right? For a card that's going to provide me better league links and the French links as well. Now, we obviously have to take a look at the group stage that Villarreal is in, right? So uh, I'm showing you an example from the Andre Silva because it's bugged for Coughlin in game, but the winning uh, two remaining matches in the UCL group stage and then qualify for the UCL knockout stage. I'm pretty sure he's guaranteed at least one of those, right? And if he gets two, it would be really nice because like I said, guys, sometimes EA juices these cards to be really, really solid. So this SBC in, in general is a W at 40 something K. It is a W because you're collecting so much fodder right now that you got to put towards something because you'll get to a point where you're going to have to discard your cards. And again, guys, really, really take this into consideration. There are certain formations and custom tactics where two medium high work rate of players are ideal to use. And if you go into this list, there's genuinely nobody else that I would use in those positions. Like, take a look at this, right? Like Marquez, I'd rather use as a center back, period, right? Maybe he's good at CDM, who knows, but it looks like a center back. But there's nobody else, guys. Look, there's nothing, right? Maybe De Gibriel So, right? Uh, if he's still here, yeah, this card, but the league links is not the same, right? Because he's um, a taller player at six foot, blah, 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 medium high work rated, right? So he's the only other card because he even he also has the uh, the four star weak foot, unless they do something crazy to one of these guys, but you won't get those same league links. And it's going to be very important to take a look at that. So in my opinion, WSBC, uh, hopefully he gets the upgrades to really be insane because if the EA juices the card a certain way, it's going to be very solid. Guys, generally speaking for how the card performs in game, it's just a height thing, right? Lack of physical presence sometimes, but he positions himself well. He shoots the ball better than I expected, right? Especially for like that Trivella. Because guys, listen, man, you're playing a 4-3-2-1. Shuamane is your guy down the middle. Coughlin's your guy on the right-hand side. If you get into an angle and you go for a Trivella, he could potentially score those opportunities. You guys get what I'm saying? So it's an SBC worth doing, in my opinion. If you have all this fodder in your club, I would put him towards this card, in my opinion. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys from the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.